everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I wanted to show you another of my pinwheel twist cards. So I already showed you the mug one, or excuse me, the cup one. And it just twists, and then it has the rectangle pocket on the back. And this is the um, mug, the pumpkin spice mug twist card with the pocket on the back and this has the library pocket and I've got some more I'm working on some Halloween ones I love Halloween so this is my witch's feet and it twists and it has the triangle pocket on the back I have the witch's hat with the triangle pocket on the back And today I want to show you the haunted house and it has the pocket library so let's go ahead and get started um, this is all of your pieces for the house and I will do that here in just a second you will have four of your narrow pieces and I printed mine from two different um, patterns you could also use your your pattern paper You'll have your library pocket and then three more of the rectangle decorative pocket or panels. You'll have two rectangles, your pocket, and your base card. And the base card has the four score lines and then the placement line. So let's start by layering our little haunted house. Um, let me get my glue out. I wasn't very well prepared. And then those are all of the pieces of the haunted house right here. So we have the moon and everything's gonna just go right on that shadow piece. I'm gonna glue my moon down. And then I'm going to glue the shadow. The only piece of this that really ends up showing is your uh, chimney. So you'll want to cut it this piece from whatever color you want your chimney piece. I'm just going to lay it right there. And then this will be the lights inside the house. So you're going to do it yellow or orange or whatever color, green, if you want green lights poking through your house. Then the actual haunted house. And then the two roof pieces. And this is nice and thick, so it gives it a lot of dimension to your card. And you really don't even need foam pop dots because it just gives it all that, that wonderful dimension. Okay, so now that we've done that, let me put my glue away. I'm going to slide that away and we're going to go ahead and assemble the card. And I've already done a video with this, but um, this might be a good refresher. So here's your base. You can see the four score lines and the placement line. I'm just going to bend those on the score line, but not that placement line. Okay. Now I'm going to take my um, panel, my decorative panel, and I'm going to glue it to the front right there. And it has a little bit of shadow all the way around it. Next, I'm going to take one of my rectangles, and I don't want to put the glue on my rectangle. I actually want to put it on this base card. And you're going to put your glue or your tape in between those two score lines. So I'm going to actually run two strips down the side of each score line. I'm going to place this right next to it. and then place a decorative panel on top of there. 
and I did print off all of my decorative panels but you could just use some printed paper or even a solid colored cardstock if you wanted to whatever you could stamp something okay so this middle piece is where our pocket goes so I'm going to go ahead and assemble the pocket by folding on the score lines away from me I'm going to put tape on those two tabs. And then just fold them in and fold the back up to make your pocket. And then I need to glue my um, decorative panel to the front of the pocket. Again, we're going to put tape on the ins or on the outside of this base card, and we're going to put it in between the two score lines. Now we're going to put our last tab, our last rectangle on tape in between those two score lines. your decorative panel and there we go okay so now what I want to do is I need to flip this over to the back and you can see your placement line I'm going to take one of my narrow decorative panels and I'm going to place it right there on the left side of that placement line. Okay, I'm going to fold it over and put a decorative panel, again a narrow one, right there. One more. Fold it over and then the last thinner decorative panel. Right. Now I want to take my tab that's over here and I want to put tape or glue on that tab. I'm going to fold it over so that my tab goes right up on the right side of that placement line. I need to fold it down. Press it. Okay, and then um, now you have your twist card. To decide which one you want on the front is completely up to you. I usually like my pocket in the back, so I'm going to fold it so it's up on top, flip it over, and that is going to become my front panel. But you, you can do it any way that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and add some tape to my little haunted house. And there you go such a fun card and then we can just slip a little gift card in that pocket and it just stands up like that and that is the haunted house pinwheel twist card i hope you are enjoying these i've got a whole lot more in the works i'm working on some christmas ones some valentine's ones 
Thanksgiving. So watch for these and thank you for joining me. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos and have a great day.